Are we good to go? Or is there a way they can like not move? Oh, sorry. I should check the pH. I'm Nora Fillinger. And I'm Kyle McElroy, and here's what's going on at BHA. It was mine, probably. Right. Are you kidding me? Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, April 14th. I'm Elijah Rice. And I'm Rowan Brown, and here's what's going on at BHS. You may have noticed pinwheels outside of BHS this week. This is a countywide prevention event intended to draw attention to the belief that all children should have a safe and carefree childhood, free of abuse or neglect. When you see the pinwheels, remind yourself that all children deserve joy. If you or someone you know is living in an abusive situation, please let your counselors know. They are here to help. Video Game Club invites you to participate and defeat the streak. Caleb DeCarque is currently undefeated 30-0 and 0 in Wii Boxing. Join us this Thursday in room C2209 for your chance to challenge Caleb. Any winners will receive a prize. Hope to see you there. Let the battle begin. This week is an all-out war. Chainlink is sponsoring Battle of the APs in order to raise money for next year, Riley Week, and Homecoming. Each day during lunch, drop your change in the buckets of the other grades' assistant principals to help save your AP from embarrassment. The AP with the most change at the end of the week will have to choose between being pied in the face each lunch or riding a tiny tricycle around during all three lunches. Current standings starting with the bucket in the most money are Mr. Sharp leading, Ms. Lingo Ball in second, Mr. Dowler in third, and Mr. Ebert in fourth. The annual BHS musical premieres this week. Don't miss the hilarious competition as the Performing Arts Department presents the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Seating is limited, but tickets are on sale now at brownsburghhstheater.com. Come see who turns out to be the W-I-N-N-E-R. Prom tickets will be on sale this week, Tuesday through Friday, in the Senior Cafe. Tickets will be sold during lunches only. This is a senior-only event. No outside guests or underclassmen permitted. Tickets are $60 each, cash or check, made out to BHS, which includes a sit-down dinner. Be sure to get your tickets in advance. No tickets will be sold at the door. See Ms. Tufts or Mrs. Davis for any information. The Brownsburg Kroger is looking to hire students as utility clerks or baggers. You must be 16 or older and be able to provide customer service with a willingness to learn. Pay starts at $9.25 an hour and you will be eligible for associate discounts on qualifying items. They also offer scholarships to employees who qualify. Check out jobs.kroger.com if interested. It's almost time again for BHS TV's annual Senior Glow Up segment featuring the class of 2021. If you are a current senior and you would like to be featured in this year's video, all you have to do is let Mr. Good know. You can email or school to message him or send us a DM on social media saying you would like to be in this year's video. The segments will be shown on BHS TV in the coming weeks and posted to our social media accounts as well. Only students who message us by this Friday, April 16th, will be included in the video. Did you hear about the Spring Musical? No, I haven't. What's it about? BHS TV's Arabella Brown has some info for you. With the Spring Musical coming up, we got the inside scoop on the show and its crew. 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee is overall just about a bunch of fifth graders in a spelling bee, literally, and they um, all are super different, super unique. They all have weird talents on how they spell the words. It's about the connections they make and how they're growing up, basically. Avery's job is to help the cast members prepare for their roles as well as assist in blocking on stage. So I play Rona Lisa Peretti and she's like the host and the teacher of the Spelling Bee and um, she thinks that the Spelling Bee is like the most important event of the entire year. But even though she thinks that the Spelling Bee is really important, she also likes to put the kids first. I knew that word, Dad, now Due to COVID, every other row in the auditorium is closed off and the audience is at 25% capacity. The 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee is one of the most unique and interesting musicals that Brownsburg High School has done in a long time because it is double cast. Due to COVID, we actually have two completely different casts. 
And so if you come on Friday night, you'll see one whole set of, of actors playing all the lead roles. On Saturday night, it's a completely different set of actors playing all of the lead roles. Um, so it's really kind of been almost like rehearsing two shows. It's very much a kind of feature show. So each character has a big, huge solo feature number and you get to see all of the characters um, kind of individually. Be sure to come see the show and show your support. Arabella Brown, BHS TV. T-H-A-N-K-S. Thanks, Arabella. I can't wait to see it. You can get tickets at brownsburghstheater.com. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Kylan, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, we've already had a lot of competition so far, just two days into the week. Let's get things started with the girls' softball teams who have already played a couple of games this week. On Monday, the varsity hosted Western Boone and won 10-3. Addie Neal was the winning pitcher, striking out 10 batters and only giving up three hits over six innings. Kaylee Larkin was two for three with a grand slam. Grace Mendenhall was two for two with an RBI and stolen base. And Kelsey Endress was two for two with an RBI and stolen base. Nice job, ladies. And last night, the Dogs had an impressive 21-4 win at Westfield. Vivian Harris led the way, hitting two grand slams. Addie Neal also had a home run. Ashley Tranter went two for three with two RBIs, and Kirsten Huff scored three runs. The ladies will travel to Center Grove tomorrow. Good luck. The JV White team also took on Western Boone and was dominant, winning 25-1. Maddie Starnes pitched four innings and struck out eight batters. Ansley Fault had a couple of hits, and Anna Canales had a hit and played well at shortstop. And Selena Alvarado made her season debut and hit a triple. Last night, the Dogs defeated Westfield 21-6. Macy Twomey had three for five with a triple. Braylon Couch had two strikeouts. They will travel to Center Grove tomorrow. Good luck. The track and field teams were back at home last night hosting Lebanon and Speedway. The girls had a huge winning score of 104 points. Jordan Griffin won the 400 and set a new personal best. Isabella Mayhoffer won the 800. Lindsay Houston had a birthday win in the 1600. And Eva Altschul won the 3200. Other dogs finishing first included Heather Blue, Sarah Boucher, Emily Teeny, and Quincy Thomas. The 4x800 relay team and the 4x400 relay team. Nice job, ladies. The boys put up 138 points in an impressive, dominant victory. John Colquitt led the way, winning 110 hurdles and set a new personal best in long jump. Hayden Deemer McKinney won the 200 and 400. Marcos Barbosa won high jump. Scotty Tienda had a new personal best in the 400 and Justin Petty set a new personal best in the high jump. Both teams will head to Decatur Central for the Twilight Invitational on Friday. Good luck. The girls' tennis teams got their season underway last night hosting Westfield. The dogs came up short of the Shamrocks but played some really good matches. Hannah Schwab, Ava Allen, Shelby Allen, and Gianna Ortez all competed their first ever varsity match. The dogs will host Center Grove tonight. Good luck. The girls lacrosse team split a pair of matches last weekend, defeating Munster 9-8, led by four goals from Annabelle Hollenbeck and 20 saves by Anaya Jones. They came up short of Homestead, but were led by Anna Escueda Mendoza with three goals. Kesa Hansen and Morgan Smith each scored their first goal of the season. Last night, the ladies defeated Harrison 8-3. Anaya Jones had 18 saves, and Anna Escueda Mendoza had two goals and two assists and Delaney Coles had two goals and two draw controls. They will travel to Westfield on Friday. Good luck. And the boys lacrosse team had a big win over Bloomington North on Monday, 19-7. Jack Bush had five goals and an assist. Sam Santiago had four goals and two assists. And Christian Dybodok had four goals and two assists. Good luck to all the teams in action in the next couple of days. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Kylan. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Friday.